Um, I actually got to go glamping with Cheryl, sort of. I met her out at Crows Creek Campground in Smithfield right before the Midwest Glamper Group camped all weekend long. Well, let's take a look around the MROs. So I got dressed to go camping. Cheryl Gotzi, on the other hand, she is full on dressed for glamping in gypsy gear. So, you know, That's let's right. talk about this beautiful gypsy wagon. This is a copy of a Botox Vardo, an authentic version of real Romani gypsy wagons. Oh my gosh. A guy in Alabama built it, but I had to glamp it. Yeah, and why not? And of course, this beautiful sign down here, that's yeah. a memento. One of the things about glampers is you have to name your glamper. It, it brings the price up about a thousand bucks when you Ooh. name it. <laughs> so this is the Emma Rose, named after my grandmother. Oh, that's so sweet. And I love that you have everything. Yes, Even a kids little can tiny leave me mailbox. They leave me notes, it's great. Okay, can you walk us around? Well, it, it, this is a small, this is a, this is a single, Maybe double if you're really friendly. I'm gonna let you just step inside and see. It's got a bunk bed across the back. That's typical of a gypsy wagon. Mm -hmm. Has the um, a raised bed. And I actually have a, a cushion that will fit on the floor that another person could. My husband and I have camped in this for a couple weeks. Okay, so when it's ladies only, it is a glamper, yes. but when your husband joins you, that's a mamper? Mampers, yes. They, we do allow them to come to some of our events, yeah. But you kind of built it so you could go camping alone. You know, I what do. is that? Is it independence? Is it that you just love doing it? I do love doing it. I camped out the first year I got this about 50 nights. Oh, wow. And I'll typically spend, I go to music festivals. I've spent two weeks at a festival down in Kansas. Mm -hmm. I actually just took the Bonnie you're going to see in a little bit for three weeks to Florida by myself. Oh my gosh, that is fun. quite a trip. And how do you even get started in this lifestyle? Like, what's the draw? Um, well, part of it is that artsy stuff, you know? Yeah. I can do my art and music and camping, being outside. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what, later today we're gonna be setting up um, painting activities, that we're gonna be painting mm -hmm. signs and rocks and all kinds of stuff, so. Well, Cheryl, that is simply wonderful. And when I said it's kind of like a lifestyle, it really is because her whole family has gotten involved with it. And of course, we're gonna take a look at some of that in just a little bit. Well, the MROs there was so bright and beautiful. Cheryl actually started glamping back in 2008, so it's been more than 10 years now. Not too long after her daughter Megan wanted to get on, on the fun, we'll see her creative spin on the sport in just a bit. Welcome back to Better Kansas City. So you can't officially let your pirate flag fly, uh, fly without being oh, on the high seas. That's right. You just need to find the right glamper. Ooh. So let's get ready to board the Bonnie. <laughs> Where did the inspiration come for a pirate theme? It's a pirate mermaid octopus theme. Ooh. So um, Bonnie is actually the first Irish pirate. She is a um, pretty hardcore pirate woman. And so we decided I'm a very strong woman. So. When you go camping, camping's a lot for men, so we're glamping, so Bonnie is our glamper. I love that. Strong, independent female, right. I love that, okay? And you can also be a mermaid in here. How does that work? Mermaid, we have a mermaid potion, so you okay. drink the mermaid potion, and then when you enter the body of water, any body of water, your mermaid tail shows up, and only other mermaids can see mermaid tails. Oh, well, that makes perfect sense. Okay, so walk us around the Bonnie. All right, this is the Bonnie you enter in. Okay. We have our ship lap floor, and then we have Surrender the Booty, which we have our booty snacks, pirate booty snacks. And if you it's were wondering, treasure. it's literally popcorn <laughs> and it looks delicious. True, true. And then we have, we always have a treasure map, because you're a pirate, so you have your treasure map. Wow, and even if you sat down to eat here, first of all, it would be so comfortable because yes. you guys have these nice little cushions. And then and our also, mermaid silverware. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. It's like rainbow effect, just like you'd have on the scales of your right. tail. With your dingle hopper to, you know, <laughs> check her out. Yes. Oh, and you have a mermaid book. Mermaid handbook. Okay. All you need to know about a mermaid. I love that. And we also have a seashell just casually chilling with some, you know, pearls inside and of course other treasure. Now, I imagine that over here, this is maybe where you lay your head at night, or this is where you spend True. some time. True, it actually yeah, pulls out okay. to a bed. Wow. Full-size bed. I just love this. You've got all <laughs> these like push-pull sequins right here. 
that it's your again mermaid. it just reminds you of like the mermaid tale or it's like we're watching a little mermaid. Yes. Okay, Megan, and what else do you have that might take you into the moment? Oh well this also makes you in a relaxing mood. It's called a it's like a sea type of light with sea sounds and the seagulls. So you actually feel like you're on a boat. And at night, and you really can't see it at night, it like shows up waves and stuff. So you just lay down and relax and hear that. How long does it take to set all of this up? Well, this one takes um, a little bit, probably a couple hours. Mm -hmm. um, I put all the stuff in a bin and I just bring it all back out. But yeah, just a couple hours, that's all it takes. When you're out here for a weekend or maybe camping with mom, what are some things you guys like to do? Uh, we do all kinds of crafts. We make everything, coloring books, we color. Um, we actually play songs around the campfire. So yeah, it's just the good old traditional camping. Well, I'll now be watching The Little Mermaid, searching for that mermaid potion. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? No, just kidding. You, coming up, you have something uh, for the fellas though, right? Absolutely. Okay. You're going to get into the wild, wild west. With Will Smith. So glamping is not just for the ladies. Well, thank you. I was hoping you weren't going to leave me out of this, right? Well, here's one with Western flair. Cheryl Godsey shows us the inside of her husband's glamper. Now, Cheryl Gotzi promised me I would get to meet everyone in her family, and this is her husband, Mike. You can see that he is dressed up just like a cowboy, somebody from Westworld. Now, like in a lot of marriages, the woman does all the talking, so Cheryl's going to walk us through this. You know, you guys just recently got this, your first outing with it. What are you looking forward to? Well, this offer is a way for us to go and travel and see the country. We're going to hope to visit a lot of national parks together. Mm -hmm. And it's just big enough for us to survive in it. Yeah. But not so big and massive that, you know, some of those big campers, people don't leave the camper. We believe the camper is just to sleep in and cook in. Yeah. So we like to be outside. Okay. Well, and it's perfectly themed out. You got the cowboy boots sure. and, of course, the cactus. We're just gathering some glamping supplies. So can we head on inside? Sure. Okay, let's do it. Do you think we can toast a glass in these, uh, what, do, what do we call these mason Hillbilly, jars? Well, they're hillbilly wine glasses. Oh, yeah. I love hillbilly it. Hillbilly cowboy hunter, it'll work, right? Okay, and you have all of this lovely camp out cookware. Yeah, I kind of just gathered and scrimped a little bit to put a little touch in here. Well, it's got the artistic flair and yeah. touch, and then also some of your friends are helping out. They did, I'm like, okay, we've got a new camper. Anybody have Western decor they're not using anymore? So this is actually a bowl made out of a lariat. Oh my gosh. That is an authentic lariat turned into a bowl. A swarty sister, Lisa, gave me that. I got the cactus, the boots, uh, the shelf from another girlfriend. And of course, the curtains are staying true to the theme with yeah, a full yes. blown cowboy on the edge. That's right, that's right. You actually have a stove top on this? Yeah, this is a propane run stove, stove and oven. We may add a microwave later just for you know, a little modern convenience, yeah. but uh, <laughs> we're just the third owners. We bought it from uh, someone in this Midwest glamping group. Mm -hmm. They were bumping up to a bigger camper. When you're picking out a theme, what do you look for? Well, things that are of our interest. Talked my husband into buying this. Yeah. Like we needed another camper, you know. Yeah, because now uh, they've got three. <laughs> sure, three. Uh, because he does leather craft. So this country western cowboy theme mm -hmm. will work really well. He might be able to do some vending events and sell his leather craft from this camper. Well, Cheryl told me one of the best parts of glamping is everyone in the Midwest Glampers group is actually more like a community. They <laughs> eat together, check on each other, and even craft together because Aww. if they know Cheryl, they There's are going to be crafting. There's crafting going yes. down there. So, well, that's awesome. Those those campers are so cool and I would mm -hmm. love uh, I I'm I'm ready to glamp. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. I know the Bonnie Looks amazing. Yeah, I'm down for it. <laughs>